Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday morning and it's 10 o'clock and well, 10 09 and I've got, uh, Elliot is in the car with me. We've got his pulmonologist appointment at 10 30. So we're, we're waiting a little bit before needing to go in for his appointment. Just so we're not waiting in a pulmonologist's office with, you know, coughing and stuff. He and I are doing that. Roman's got the other two kids at home. Linnea is gonna go play with a friend today, her little best friend that we've had contact with, um, whose parents are also working at home and having no contact with anybody. Uh, we figured that once a week we were gonna have the girls get together because Linnea is missing Kita and there very well might come a time when they say no visits allowed whatsoever, but as of right now, children are still allowed. We just agreed that once a week we let the girls get together and maintain some sort of social contact because there most likely won't be kindergarten. Um, I don't know when the kids will get to go back to school next. Merkel said that we need tough restrictions for the next eight to eight to ten weeks, which could put us right around Easter time. So I don't know if the kids will actually go back before before Easter. They may just be home. We may just be in lockdown until then. So I've really been tr trying to just brace myself and prepare myself for that possibility. I'm just. Elliot's sleeping in the car, so I'm letting him rest a little bit. I need to put up my park thing. So, in Germany, every car has one of these. Every driver needs to have one of these because it tells when you arrived at a place because there's like a, there's a time limit in a lot of parking places. I mean, that are free, that you don't have to pay for. Um, if you pay for it, you can be there as long as you want. But for free parking places like this current building, they have a time limit. So they only want people to be in this parking space for 120 minutes. Um, and it varies from place to place. But if you put your parking thing, like I need to put that I got here at, let's say 10, 15. Yeah. So I put it here just in between the 10 and the 10 30 spot and then I'll put it in the dash. And then if anyone comes to check, then I have this saying, oh, getting close and personal. There we go. So we're just waiting. I probably actually could go ahead and start waking him up and get him in because it'll take us a few minutes to get in. I don't want to do this. Tomorrow is also Elliot's um, appointment at the pediatrician. I hate those appointments. <laughs> I hate those appointments so much. He's also getting a shot. He's getting his MMR, which is good. Really pleased for that, but you know, just how it goes. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and get this little guy in and to the pulmonologist. Good morning from Elliot. He and I are walking in the snow. It's snowing, which is exciting. You know what? This is driving me nuts. Um, I've got my mask here ready, so whenever I'm around people, um, I can just go ahead and put it on and then that's it. But, hey buddy, he's nice and toasty in here. Snow on the cars. Not a lot sticking. Elliot and I are on our way to his doctor's appointment. He has his uh, I think it's the Uzex or U Ufunf. I have to look at his thing. I think it's the Uzex. Anyways, it's his one year, his one year checkup. That's what the equivalent is. He's also getting his MMR vaccination. Here's the funny thing. I remember being very terrified of Callum or Linnea getting like measles or mumps or rubella. Uh, you know, I was always really nervous about that, you know, until they got vaccinated and then I felt like, okay, we're good. Little did I know a third baby would be born in the year of COVID. So it's uh, been a whole different ball game with him in every way. And anyone who's had a baby this year, you know what I mean. Or last year, I should say, you know what I mean. So we're on our way now. I was hoping he would get sleepy and take a nap. I'm gonna cover his little ear. Oh, bless him. He's 
so sweet. He's so demanding, but he is so sweet. Well, I'm not sure a nap is actually going to happen anymore because um, an ambulance went by, it was super loud, woke this one up. So, I'm not really sure what to do at the moment. Is it worth getting him put back to sleep only to wake him up and jab him in like 30 minutes? Do you have an opinion? You wanna go back to sleep? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think I am gonna try to get him to go back to sleep though because I feel like I feel like even 15 minutes will you know give him a little bit of energy a second wind I just don't want him screaming the whole time through his examination that's the worst Excited? Probably not. <laughs> it's okay. We'll get through it together. Yeah, oh yeah, my goodness. Mom, look, I can do a puppet. I think mom, he's gonna try to do it with you. Really, really fast. Look, mom. I'm looking, sweetie. Look, mom. I'm looking. Papa, put my out. Yeah. We're both watching. <laughs> he doesn't he doesn't want to do it if you are watching him. It's so annoying. <laughs> I mean look at that. Total attitude. Boop. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> He's looking at Papa. Hi, cutie. <laughs> you just sort of started taking off, huh? There was no downtime. No, not a lot of time of learning step for step. Okay, you need to cuddle. So, should we tell everyone about your appointment? We're back home, by the way. <laughs> He has not pro properly napped very well today. Um, Roman had a call in his and Elliot's sleep space, so. <sighs> Hasn't been great. As far as the appointment went, it was good. Uh, I really, really, really like their pediatrician a lot. I'm gonna have to talk to you guys later. <laughs> this is just how it is. It's family movie night, and we're watching the Pokemon movie. Elliot's making a mess. Um, <laughs> Calm's looking at his Pokemon cards. And my Pokemon. He's super excited because he's got them all in a safe place.